to the Coach Kyle Show. Golazo! 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 Hi there. Welcome to another episode of your live podcast, um, the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. Um, I want to give you an opportunity to get yourself situated, get yourself um, on this life, um, to also share. Um, by now, you know this is an, an every Saturday thing where we talk all things soccer, but more importantly, um, and I will continue to remind you, the objective here is to inspire our youth, to empower them, to encourage their hearts, to live out their purpose. There's nothing more fulfilling than purpose. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Because that is the very essence of why you are breathing. It's to fulfill purpose. So let me remind you quickly that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. It's an amazing thing to be alive uh, when you look, when you look at the whole event of your life. Some good times, some embarrassing times, some troubling times, times of disaster, um, times of illness, times of um, don't know where you can turn, times of dismay, times of sadness, um, times of foolishness and you still have the opportunity to breathe and still have the, the opportunity to make a significant mark on this world. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, if you didn't know. I'm a firm believer of, of him also. Um, because it's a very unique thing when you are faced with many challenges and you you know you don't truly understand and until you come to that place of understanding you know that all of those challenges was against your very purpose your, your the very reason why you were alive and it gives you a good insight to look back and see those, to see people, to see organizations, to see friends, to see family, um, how they treated you in those moments of um, trials, tribulations, and all the things in between. And, and I'm telling you, you guys know as you come into this podcast that every time you make a step forward in life, every time you advance your life, every time you move from where you were, always have a moment of reflection to truly understand uh, the quality of people that were around you. Because there's absolutely no way or shape that you can get to a place of purpose without going through the worst of times. There's absolutely no way or shape you can get to another level 
in your life where you what you call progress without challenge without challenges to your greatness to who you supposed to be and a time of reflection will tell you who they were and who they are it's very important to understand that because we talk to the youth we talk to our youth about purpose and we talk to them about the meaning of your life is not where you are it's not what you're going through is the latter is the latter is the future is what you were ordained and sanctified to be so yes we talk all things soccer because that this is our platform just like every other platform that spread their message in every way and shape and their agenda there's many platforms that are used for what you might think it's used for but if you pay attention there is a message there is an agenda there is a there is fuel to something that is greater and this platform is to fuel purpose through the game of soccer because the last time i checked that god gave all of us gifts and some gifts to play music some gifts to play football some gifts to play basketball um some gift to dance um some gifts to act um and acting is fiction is not it's not real life but we cry people cry at movies <laughs> people are scared of movies because there's a realness that comes out in that person gift to do what they do to even give you a message of hope a message sometime of despair so there's no difference when it relates to soccer it's still a gift that can bring transformation in this entire world it's a great time to share it's a great time to subscribe if you haven't done so yet to the Kyrie McKinnon and Co channel on YouTube where you can get all your podcasts and please hit that notification bell so that you can be prompted when we're on and if you if that seems to be a task there's no energy in sharing please do share <coughs> excuse me as we continue to spread this message and um so that it could go far beyond um even our expectations so that we can have uh, more quality more quality people come into the show like last week um to share their experience to share um what they have gone through that can be a blessing unto others that can bring about transformation in the lives of so many others that can happen if it's not exposed um because that message is important for all of us the more quality message we have the more our lives can be improved the more that we can come into contact with our own greatness so please do share add it to that please let me know that you are here um so that we can take part um in 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 this discussion tonight i'm talking about the parent the parental role in soccer um very important topic um and by by god's grace that you will be able to reflect on your your own idea or your own uh, behavior um to bring more awareness and to encourage 
uh, deeper thinking in how you do things and how you approach things. And I want to say to all the parents who are doing their utmost best with whatever they have, may you continue to um, be blessed in whatever you're doing. May you be encouraged to continue to support. May you continue, may you have the strength um, to continue to believe because um, there's a there's a lot of people. There are many people out here who struggle uh, to have a sense of belief because of fear and, and, and many different things. Uh, so I commend you for not just doing it with your with your mind and, and, and with your mouth and with your resources, but doing it with your heart, doing it with a with a, with a real desire and a connection with your child, with your athlete um, on this journey that they're on. So kudos to you. And your child should be saying right now, thank you and how much they appreciate you for what uh, you, what the amount of sacrifice uh, that you've made and, and what you continue, uh, how you continue to sacrifice uh, for them. It's very important, young people, to show a high level of gratitude when a heart is given to you in terms of support, in terms of um, in terms of love and care. When when that happens, it's very important to have a great sense of gratitude for that. So we're going to talk about um, the importance parental role in soccer um, and it's, it will be short it will be quick um, so hopefully you get a chance now with this quick interruption to bring to you the KMXVI March please do support it um, the best way you can and also you can see the cash app on, on the screen support our movement to continue to empower our young people um, by God's grace, and so that they could live out their purpose. But we will be right back um, to dive deep into this into this discussion. And please make sure that you're inviting someone and share your comments so that I can have a deeper sense of uh, where you are and how we can take this thing um, where God wants it to go. So we'll be right back. Coyote, McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo, they here. Um, parental support um, in soccer. Very important, very vital. Now more than ever with social media and all the different influences that we have out here. Um, your support, your support will magnify things like never before. Um, what that what does that look like uh, it's my belief it's my belief that at the ending of of this this podcast that you will definitely have something that you can reflect on that you can ask yourself um, that you will come uh, to the understanding you know I, I learned the other day that 
a lot of times when people disagree with you, um, a lot of times people remove from their stance because it seems like um, you're not agreeable with, with, with most people. belief. Um, it's just a difference of belief. And, and oftentimes people are offended because you're right and they're unable um, to shake themselves away from it. You know, if you look back in your life, things that you've done that you're not really proud of, sometimes you don't want to remember or you don't want to face those things because it's a reminder of truth. So you dismiss it and you, um, you put it to the side and you make excuses. But it don't mean it's going anywhere. Whatever you've done in life, it will be there forever. It will be there waiting, just like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. It will be there waiting on you. And it will, it will test you in the time when you're about to elevate, when you're about to progress, when you're about to move forward, when you're about to advance with your life. So it's not about being agreeable. It's not about um, if you like someone or not. I think we have to come to the place where we have to understand truth. And wherever there's truth, there's freedom. Regardless of how, regardless of how, how offensive that truth is, regardless of how embarrassing that truth is, one thing about truth, one thing about truth, it is the beginning of freedom. So as we dive into this, um, into this discussion and this podcast, you know, I will pray that you have an open mind, that you will challenge yourself, that um, you will do things, have an idea of abundance rather than scarcity, so that you can work out all things in this situation. When I look at support, I think about as parents and, and, and player, athlete, or child, I look at it as collaboration. When I, when I think about support. And collaboration means to me that the best answer is not in, in one person or in one individual. So as a parent decide to support their child in the sport of soccer, is an expectation that it's a collaboration and not, um, not necessarily tyranny. So the more collaboration you have, the more ideas, the more um, there's more things to think about there's more questions to ask and there's a deeper sense of how you can maximize the opportunities that are, that are before you I firmly believe that's what collaboration does it allow these different thoughts now who are we talking about parental support um you can't collaborate with everybody because, you know, cultures, uh, one person coming from one country with one culture, one person coming from another country with a different culture, with a different belief system, um, not that they hate each other, not that they don't respect each other, but they have different, different views, different belief system. So collaboration can happen with every single person. They say like people, people who are like each other, like each other. People who are like each other, like each other. So collaboration have to do with the, uh, the basis of your relationship and your belief system 
And if you want to go deep into the waters, um, an understanding and a clear uh, picture of the vision in, 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 in which you're embarking on that needs that collaboration. So collaboration just can't happen, um, you know, just because you want to make money or, you know, just because you know each other. Um, it needs to be a different, it needs to be a deeper sense. And the mere fact that parents are totally responsible for the train up process, then collaboration in this supportive approach is very vital. I would love to hear um, some ideas of what support. It would be nice to hear some, some ideas of what support look like uh, from a parental standpoint. Um, from a child standpoint, what you believe is real support and, and, and from the player, what support have you experienced or lack thereof that you believe played a major role in you not really pursuing your passion, um, putting you in a state of confusion, in a state of doubt? Um, how have that environment um, with lack of support affected you and how the environment where support was awesome, fantastic, you felt propelled you into being the best version of yourself. You know, and I, and I speak to collaboration in this introduction, uh, this introduction phase because I heard a saying that success don't begins with 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 me it begins with we so success don't begin with 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 me success actually begins with we however that's um it's a collaboration the more ideas that you can garner the more you're able to think broader the more you're able to think deeper the more possibilities exist within that collaboration so when I think about parental support within the game of soccer, it, it has to start with on this foundation of this is a collaborative approach. Um, this is vital. This is very vital because a lot of times, to be fair to the to the parents they are coming in unaware. It is something that, in most cases, it is something that the child like. It's something that they, they took an interest to, and the parents said, "Yes, I will. You know, I will, I will take you so you can take part, so that you can participate." So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of unforeseen things when that decision is made. So the collaboration is important because as the child come into the environment and they begin to learn new things and have a better idea and a better understanding, it's important for you to have that, have those communication lines open so that collaboration can take place so the support can be meaningful. So you have to you have to form that collaborative way. You know, and sometimes parents would have played at some level or the other, and they have some amount of idea based on based on the level they would have played and based on the level they would have coached, which is a good starting point. But if I believe if you have that, that desire to be more collaborative with your athlete, it opens doors to so many possibilities. Collaboration is so important because I think about a house. It needs to be a foundation before you can put up a post. 
it needs to be a foundational post before you can start putting up walls. It needs to be a foundation, a post, the walls before you can put the roof on. They all have to connect and collaborate for the house to stand when the greatest storm comes. Now you can't go from the foundation straight to the roof. Those things need to be connected. Those things need to be um, those things need to understand their position in making sure that this house can stand. One cannot do it without the other. There's no post, there's no walls. There's no foundation. The posts don't make any sense. The rain will come and it will it will it will be it will be gone. Excuse me, definitely <laughs> there's no roof without no walls or no posts. Collaboration is very important because it's difficult, very difficult to be able to reach a high level of success without support. You know, you, you heard the saying that no man is an island. But those things, we gloss over those things like they're just saying. But it's necessary. Support is necessary at every point in time in your life. And a lot of people, um, including myself, um, going through this process of life, you think you know what support is. But that support is only based on your culture based on what you've learned, based on what you've encountered. It's not a real collaboration to extend your thinking, to have new ideas, to, to truly understand that because oftentimes people are, they think they're right in their own eyes. It's just the reality of this world. Especially when you are not trained to know what that means. So, you grew up in an independent environment where things was done. This is how it's done. And you follow that. And you grew up with that same idea. And you continue that process. And they, there was never no collaboration to, to, to have uh, of different ideas and different different thinking and, and, and different um, opportunities to, to really have a holistic and, 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 a, and, and a broader understanding of things. And then you fall off of that, you fall off of that grid, and you're left to be destroyed. You're left to um, to be criticized, and, and 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 a lot of times, without support, you see people go and they commit suicide. And, and people say, "Well, they were crazy." In those moments, it's sad that that individual don't think that I can think differently, that, that I can have this support that is necessary to save my life. Kids are dying in soccer because of lack of support. Kids give up on certain principles in life because they lack support. Kids become rebellious because they lack support. And oftentimes they're unable to navigate and through this life with so many questions that they don't have no answers for. So they go along with what makes them comfortable, not necessarily right. And people find comfort in death. People believe that the only comfort is taking their own lives. Because there's a lack of real support. We're going to dive into this thing very deep and, and, and see where God takes us because 
<laughs> a lot of times people believe they're supporting you because they're clapping their hands and they're cheering. They're saying they care. A lot of times people believe they're supporting you because they brought you into the world. They hold the claim that they give you life. That is enough support. I owe you my life because you have allowed me, not by God's grace, but your, by your, by by your power and, and your authority that you could have aborted me and you could have done all of those things. The mere fact that you brought me into this world that I owe you everything because that is support. Some people believe that that I give you food. I give you a place to live. That is support. Whatever you, wherever you are in, in, in that space, have you reflected to really understand or to have a deeper understanding or to be collaborative in how did that truly work out? Support is necessary. When we take this quick break to introduce or to reintroduce our learning corner, the RK Just Clean sponsored learning corner, we will um, dive into one key, one key um, factor um, in what support. Um, can do for an individual so stay tuned we'll be right back to deal with it is bringing back the six to mark on the ball side and allowing the four to give coverage. So when you see a team play with two forward, it's be two forward, sorry, it's because they're trying to take away the coverage uh, for the first pressure. So if there's one V1, then the coverage becomes very compromised because if, let's say for instance, quick example, if the ball, if the ball comes into nine, and the ten is there, if the five give coverage, then there's gaps in between here. If the three comes inside, then there's an option outside. So, to take care of that, we make our numbers, we make our numerical advantage in the middle here, which give coverage and allow um, the players to stay with theirs. I hope this was helpful. Um, see you again at a new Learning Corner. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. This is your live podcast. Please do share. Please do share. Um, remember, you can get this podcast uh, wherever you listen to your podcast, Spotify, Anchor. Um, but please do share. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss us. Please also let me know that you are here, your thoughts, um, what is your experience with that, with, with this with this topic, uh, because support is not something that, um, it's, it's, it's not such a simple thing um, because, you you could think that you're doing it, and that is that's a sad part of it because you don't you don't really have a sense of how it's how it's being received and what it's actually doing. 
and 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 when I think about support and one of the the great things that support can give to an athlete to a child from a parent real support establishes maturity maturity is um the greek the greek translation defined it as perfection being perfect and if we break down perfection in its in its in its true meaning it's it's to be fully formed or to or it speaks to completion so the the greek translation which i love it it speaks to maturity as perfection and perfection is about being fully formed or completion and with the right support with the the support that is needed as we dive deep into this thing that we'll have a a deep understanding of what that looks like it produces this high level of maturity um this by nature takes time when you talk about being fully formed and 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 completion that takes time that is a long process it speaks to it speaks to growth you know goals are for a certain time it's time oriented and it's attainable and it's all of those uh, is is the smart the smart approach the smart goals approach but when you talk about growth it's it's everlasting is as long as you breed in there's an opportunity for growth so this is a heavy 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 long process so it made me dive a bit deep and and i remember in 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 a, for you who you know you're not afraid of god and you believe in him hebrews 6 and 1 said that you should um let's press on to maturity it was it was very it was that grasped my attention talk about maturity is about full is is being fully formed and completion and then the and hebrew 6 and 1 said let's press on to maturity so if we if we define the word maturity in within within that it in that scripture it, it says let's press on to fulfillment let's press on to being a complete person which is the representation of purpose your support as a parent should speak to purpose and the completion of purpose it's a tough one see before we were formed we were known and we were ordained and we were sanctified and then it said parents train up chanak return back to the kingdom <laughs> because you were born with a purpose to be fulfilled it's the very reason why we are unique right and and we are different in so many ways that people lack the ability to truly understand us they try their utmost best but who could fully say that they understand the very thoughts and the the very the heart and the nature of a man of an individual who could who could really attest to that unless it it is being revealed by the source so your support can help a young person can help your child move closer to being fully formed and come and finding the completion to their purpose that that in essence is 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 powerful 
So support is not just a uh, just a fly by night thing. Oh, I'm here watching you. I'm I'm I'm, I'm here. Um, I'm gonna I'm going to drive you, and and that is a, that is making an effort, and 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 in some regards, doing what you're expected to do as a parent. But can I submit to you that? Can you look deeper? Can you look part past the superficial, um, superficial idea and collaborate to go deeper into your thoughts to see: Am I moving this person, this individual, closer? Am I pressing, pushing them forward, pressing, pressing, pressing to make sure that they're getting closer? To their maturity. That is the true essence of maturity. And that needs support. Because sometimes when excuse me, sometimes when I'm when you lift in weights, you need somebody to spot you. Because in order for you to press that weight, if it's your max. Is it's there's a likelihood that accomplishing your max potential, the likelihood that that weight could drop on your neck and kill you. Because there's there's a desire to be able to say that I've accomplished, I've maxed out my ability. There lies the spotter that in the event that you're unable to carry that weight, that person is right there to save your life. To give you another shot to go at it. That support alone gives you another opportunity. It's not a failure. It's a lesson. It's an opportunity to go again. And you might do it again, and you might just get halfway. But then, they're there again. You might get closer to the top. They're there again. And because of that constant support telling you that, I'm right here, I'm right here, don't worry about it. It's not a time to give up. It's not a time to say you're not strong. You're not strong. You're not strong. You're not. You're just not strong yet. You're not just strong yet. That that it's it's still open to say I'm not strong. It's closed. That's it. There's no advancement. Your support must bring a high level of maturity. That maturity speaks to fulfillment. To be fully conformed, to be fully formed, sorry. To be able to complete your purpose. Well, unfortunately, a lot of young people don't even know what purpose is. Maybe we should be talking about that more than we talking about goals. And maybe we should be talking more about purpose than we're talking about having a good life. Maybe we should be talking about purpose when are we talking about trends just maybe we should come to the realization of what purpose is because it's the only true fulfillment it's the only way it's the only place that peace can be found there's nothing else
there are, there are three key characteristics that I would love to share with you that uh, speaks or defines maturity and with your support what you are able what you're able to do and to really understand if your support is where it's supposed to be because I'm saying like parents are given their definition of support and it's some are making fantastic sacrifices and may this even empower you to understand that your sacrifice your sacrifices are not in vain but it's a massive investment that will have a profit and then you find yourself only in the withdrawal line <laughs> there's nothing to gain but what you've withdrawn you have to get to the place where you understand the only the only profit that you can have is through an investment what that investment is that's on you that's for you to dig a bit deeper to understand but the first thing is with this understanding of supporting and 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 how it brings about this maturity it helps your child to deal with pressure wow they are positive on the pressure i can't tell you enough how i see so many times young men young adult men young women young adult women fall under pressure And they go to a place of excuses. Excuses have never been associated with success. Never in history. That's a historical fact. Success have never been associated with excuses. People who make excuses oftentimes don't ever take responsibility. It's very important to take ownership. It's very important to deal with pressure. Pressure is, is your best friend. That principle was established over 2,000 how many years ago, what pressure can do. Pressure is the very reason why we are alive today, why we can breathe. At some point in time, every knee will bow to be sure of that. At some point in time, every knee will bow because of that pressure. So there's a reward that has been taught to us in principle of what pressure can do. Maturity allows you to see opportunities within the pressure. Some people say, and it's sometimes it's outside of soccer, just in, in real life, people say, oh, you know, to run to God now because you're under pressure. So where, where am I supposed to run? <laughs> where am I supposed to run? Off the bridge? Oh, you know, to run to the truth now because you're under pressure? Okay, so what, what am I supposed to do? Run to the lies? How that's supposed to help me? Yeah, pressure's supposed to bring you closer to the realization of what is it you're supposed to be doing. And if it don't, then you 
you will fall to a place that you don't want to be. No, Pharaoh was big, bad, and bold, but when the pressure braced him, he said, okay, let the people go. I can't, I cannot deal with this anymore. So pressure has always been associated with freedom and success and, and change and all of these beautiful things that will enable us to find peace and find fulfillment and make us live a purpose-driven life. It has always been associated with pressure. And yes, it's a special thing. But it takes a high level of maturity. It is one of the, the big characteristics of maturity. The ability <laughs> to be positive under pressure. I can't tell you enough how important your support is when it comes to this part. I see too many times players are under pressure. And it's time to be Mama Bear. Or it's time to be Papa Superman. I remember a story with a parent that had a disabled child struggling, but they wanted them to, you know, to be as normal as possible. Um, and they, they put them in a specific sport. And in that specific sport, there were so many challenges to this, to this, to this individual. And the parents made a decision that these struggles will be forever. And as much as emotionally it, it took a toll on them, they made the decision that this pressure will forever be there. It don't matter when, where. However you train the child up, that is what they will be. Train up the child so when they become old, they will not depart from it. So they made a conscious decision. It don't matter who make fun of this individual. It don't matter how much mistake. It don't matter how clumsy they look. We will allow them to face that. And then we will be the support that we ought to be. We will teach our child about maturity. We will teach our child about maturity. We will teach our child to embrace how do I overcome? How do I deal with pressure? How can I improve my thinking under pressure? How they say, oh, we're not going to take you out. No, no, no. We're not going to. We're not going to. No, we, we not. And the story went on to say that now this child is a leader. We're now transforming lives in ways that <laughs> only a purpose-driven child can with purpose-driven parents can. It's very difficult. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying that it's, hard, it's easy to watch your child suffer and just let them suffer. To watch your child cry and just watch them cry. That comes down to the situation and the circumstances and everything else. But if it's something that you know that they have to live through without harm to their lives, or, or and then you are there with the support. You are there with the support. You say oftentimes empathy is not always the best thing because you keep telling people there's a hand every time they're in the ditch. They will never make the effort to climb out of the ditch them, themselves because there they will always be a hand. They will never learn. You could give a man a fish or you could give him a rod and teach him how to fish. You will eat 
for the rest of his life. So when you are not there, then he will be hungry and he will die. Pressure is necessary. But it, it comes with maturity. And who can allow, who can enable maturity? The support of the parents, understanding that it must be purpose driven. Now, if it's not purpose driven, I can see why the situation, the circumstances, the events, the, the lack of trust, the doubts, the fears, all of these things will compound and it will cause you to go to alternative methods. But purpose keeps you because you can see the ending. And as you go deeper and you have a deeper understanding, it will be revealed to you where you should go where you should walk, who you should be talking to. Purpose always comes with reservations. Don't worry yourself. Before you were formed, don't forget that you were ordained and sanctified. Don't worry. Do not worry. Jeremiah said, how? How can I speak? I'm just a child. Just go. I will tell you what to say. You don't worry. And they will listen because you're going based on purpose. You're going based on purpose. You're not, you, you're going based on the fact that that's why you were born. There's not so much emotional emotions involved when you are collaborating, understanding that this is a purpose. You remember Samuel, his, that was the only child and he had to go live with the priest. He never heard the mom cry one day or saying, I miss my child because it was based on purpose. And she understood that that's the support that was needed to make sure that the child achieve what they were born to achieve. Now, you could tell me that was pressure. Your only child, after being told that you're barren for so many years, your only child, you had to give it up. No. Nah. Understanding purpose. You can't do it and then the child is going to be like, oh, you know I'm going to hear. I told you so. I told you so. Yeah, this is, this is, not, this is not the place. There's too much pressure. I, I, I can't remember a time in my life where I see young people don't even want to feel a little bit of uncomfortableness. I, I, this is a different generation. It's, I, it made me sound like I'm, I'm in my 50s or 60s. It's just the other day. You are believing and going after something that you don't even know that will come to fruition. There's no writing on the wall that says that this is a real opportunity and the pressure is great. People making fun of me, people. Oh, my Lord. You look back now and, and you understand that had it not been for that opportunity, you would never believe that there's always a way. Don't matter how bad the situation gets. I can guarantee you, you're in the right place. You will know that there's always a way. You will never lose. They might win, but you never lose. And your support establish or give this athlete an opportunity to go through the process of being fully formed and, and 
going towards completion because it's purpose driven, your support can help them to watch their mouth. Hmm. They will only speak positive. I said, well, that's such a mundane thing, you know. But greatness is in the power of the tongue. You ask the child, what do you think you did well today? <clears throat> and they cannot answer. You ask them, what do you think you did bad today? Which is not a good question, but I'm just using it because the better question I think, what do you, what do you believe you could have done even better? But if you ask them what you what you believe you did bad today, they will give you a whole list of things. And everybody just feel like that's just a normal thing. They could only speak well of their bad because this is society. Society amplifies your bad. They amplifies the word they amplify the worst things that you've done because that's how we train in our young people that's how we train in our kids that's how we train in our youth to the point where they believe the bad thing gets them forward the bad thing make them give them respect the bad thing make them feel like there's a sense of humility about them and to some to some to some some place or form you know being able to be honest with yourself with your with your body and your wrong is a sense of humility that's not what i'm talking about it believe it give them accreditation with the coach when they could talk highly about how bad they were and the coach will have a high level of sympathy and empathy for them They can't speak positive. And that's what support. They'll be able to balance it out. Be able to balance it out. They'll be able to speak in with humility about the things they believe they've done well. And also things that they believe they can do even better. And, and in an environment where the feedback is is about growth and is about development, then it will improve, they will it will improve their life and bring them closer to fulfilling and completing their purpose. We should press on to maturity. That comes with your support. Parents, that comes with your support. Rewinding this thing down. The big one, the absolute big one, that is a major characteristic of maturity, being completed, being fully formed, and getting closer to your purpose is patience. Maturity enables patience. Hmm. There's a time for sowing and there's a time for reaping. Patience creates an attitude of dependence. Say that again. Patience creates an attitude of dependence. Of dependence. Not independence. And not interdependent, dependent. That is what patience allow you, afford you. Because the just shall live by faith. So as you patiently, not sit down and do nothing, <laughs> by the sweat of your brow, you will eat bread. But your patience is staying and pressing, your patience is pressing towards your maturity, towards 
your purpose. That means that it don't matter what is in your way. It don't matter what are your challenges. It don't, you are pressing. And even though you don't see it, the patience allow you to form an attitude of dependence. So that means you need to collaborate. You need, you need the right people around you. You need the truth around you. You don't need people that are charismatic and they are telling you all the things to manipulate your mind to believe a lie. Lies don't establish patience. Lies don't establish patience. You know you cannot, and you believe that someone, your truth, or they don't, you don't need to give them your truth. It's time to move on. It's time to walk away. It's time to say, this is not for me. But patience is valuable, and you get it through the support that is pushing or is pressing someone towards their maturity, which we know now is purpose. That patience allow, allow you to form an attitude of dependence that allow you to find favor. Your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. Your purpose will find room for you and bring you before great men. Your support is necessary, parents. Not just the money, not just driving the car. Not just giving them a place to sleep. That is your mandate. That was, that was given to you. That was a gift given to you to be for you to take care of. Those basic needs, they talk about it all the time. And you kids must show gratitude for those things. You young players must be grateful for having something to eat and parents able to drive you. and The most important support, though, is the one that is pressing the child towards maturity. There's no greater one than that. Are you doing it? Are you sure you are doing it? It's time to collaborate. They say in 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 um, in school, positive action said that eight to one percent of the children will finish high school based on the support of their parents. Eighty one percent, twenty one percent of them will not, even though they support. So think about no support. And how do they show support in, 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 in the schools? How, how parents show great support that 81%? That's a big number. Support is valuable. But they engage in discussions. They take part in, they volunteer their services to, uh, to the schools and, and making sure that Everybody feel comfortable and, 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 and feel like this is this is important to them. They attend all the conferences and they go to parent teachers meeting and they ask all the right questions and they go back home and they challenge their child because that's important. Maybe it's the important thing. Hmm. What if that is translated into sports, but Sports, mm, it's not important. 
a sport that teach you, teaches you more life skill, more critical skills than a classroom. Because playing soccer has to do with perception. So you have to become a critical thinker because you have to build awareness. And you have to build something called visual recognition. Where it's not just about thinking ahead, but the action need to reflect. The execution must be correct in accordance to what you're thinking. And then the desired outcome says, is it, is it impactful or not? So in a sport where you're learning, to become a critical thinker, to become a person who can adapt and adjust to situation and circumstances with emotional intelligence, what if that same type of support is translated into something that we oftentimes just say it's nothing? Because it's just societal norms and just system. And I submit to you, look deeper, reflect a bit. It's not just a sport, it's discipline, it's respect, it's motivation, it's confidence, it's self-awareness, it's cooperation, it's collaboration, it's inclusion. So many things, it's so many things that can be gained through this process, but that is overlooked. And, and I want parents to get back to that because the pay-to-play thing of, of we have prioritized the, the numbers instead of, of growth. We grow in we grow in the community, but we're not growing the people. <laughs> we're not transforming the people. We're not transforming the young people to become adults, to be to be able to continue in, in a way that will be influential to society coming behind them. We have neglected that because we have prioritized the wrong things. We don't want them to be mature. It's very important that we do our utmost best to get back to that because in the same light, I did some research and George Washington, George Washington University said that 70% of play of young youth players are leaving the sport. 70% they are leaving the sport at 13. But I said, no, it's not 13. At that age, it's the stage of learning become more about the execution of roles and tasks. So now you have to be more deliberative, not instinctive. Now, when you were younger, you could use your creativity and your curiosity and all of those things, which you, there's some place for that as you move into the stage where you have to not just focus on fundamentals, but use that fundamental in, 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 in accordance with rules, cues, and signals. That... That brings a child into a state of regression because anytime you have to learn something new, you're always going to take a step back because you're not familiar. So it's not just the fun aspect of it that they want to use. Fun is learning. Last time I checked, when, I, when I'm coaching kids and, and, and they, they execute something and they score a goal, it don't matter how hard that training is, I see those kids celebrate and go crazy. And I also see when they lose, they cry bitter tears, like they, they're not going to have a tomorrow. So it tells me fun have to do with growth. Fun. is defined by transformation. I will continue to do something because I can see progress. And we watch the kids walk out the sport and we 
we say, nah, this is what they want to do. It's their choice. Is it really? Child come to you now and say, I don't want to go to school anymore. Are you going to say that's their choice? You're going to want to know why. You want to know what is happening in that school. You want to know if, if it can be resolved. You want to have a discussion. No, that, that has left the door because the priorities are not correct. So there's no space for collaboration. Remember, people who are like each other, like each other. If you like the wrong things, then you will like the wrong things. And the wrong things don't create a place of freedom, fulfillment, peace, patience, selflessness, all them beautiful fruits that we don't want to eat. Am I speaking the truth or am I lying? Am I being offensive? Maturity is important. I encourage you to reflect on your support, on what your support means and what it's supposed to look like. Can you redirect it? Can you, excuse me, can you, um, can you come up with more ideas, come up with new ideas of what that means? Just can't be money. Just can't be that. Just can't be I provide a home for you. You know, that's awesome. I don't know. No one knows your, the sacrifice that you make. Whatever sacrifice that you're making, support is a major investment that you will never want or you will never lack. Because you're doing something that is purpose-driven. So I submit to you a couple of things that will help you in terms of reassessing your support approach, your support system, your support mechanism, whatever big words are there that you can utilize in your parental role within SACO, growth mindset. I only have three for you. What's up, Marsha? Good to see you. Hope all is well. Growth mindset. So I want to, I want you to go beyond just your expectation as a parent. Um, what is present? I want you to think deeper about possibilities for your child, for your athlete, opportunities, possibilities. Ask for wisdom and guidance that those things are recognized wherever you are and whatever you're associated with. That you are able to see possibilities as this child embrace this thing, especially at a young age. And make an investment in those possibilities. If you're not going to make an investment, you cannot associate yourself with profits because there's no profits in withdrawals. Nobody don't withdraw something and say, well, I'll get a profit. No, they use the word investment. So if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna make an investment based on the profit you want, then why why are you even in, involved? Why why do you even indulge? Why would you even indulge in, in such things? Continue to withdraw and get the best that you can get. And so be it. But you should never associate profits with withdrawals. You have to associate profits with investment. People invest to make a profit. And you can only invest based on purpose. If you understand purpose, then you understand how, what you need to come into agreement with. 
People who understand purpose, they easily understand how. People who don't understand purpose, they struggle with the they struggle even with the what. They don't even get to the how. They struggle with the what. And this is if you want to take this past the lines of soccer, good. But this is the platform. Like I said, this platform is used to spread the message of purpose through soccer. This is not you just X and O's and run here and run there. Why are you running there with no purpose, with no vision? You're just going to run into a wall because you don't even know what you're going. A pers person with a purpose will understand vision. And vision is clear about its destination. Vision is clear about what they need to be in agreement with. I learned that. God continued to show me. You're clear. You're clear about who you are. And what is it you're supposed to be doing? So why are you running up and down? You don't even know. <laughs> Vision also, understand history. You understand where you're coming from. You understand what have plagued the people before you. You understand why they are in the same place, in the same position, talking the same way, behaving the same way, doing the same things. So vision is not something you just get, oh, I got a vision of, oh, come on. No, 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 no. Parents, come on. Come on, I know you are better. I know you are stronger. You are smarter. It's just a, it's just an opportunity to, it's just an opportunity to collaborate. Where there's something to think about. It's not. Might not be your gospel, okay. But this is what we need. We need more collaboration. Where there is more things to think about and. Ask great questions and answer tough questions. Your support become your support, your support become empowering when you can ask great questions and you can answer tough questions. If you don't believe in the child playing soccer, be honest with them. Tell them and then tell them why. Tell them your experience. Tell them where you came from so they could better understand. And now you, are, now you guys could collaborate better because now they could share their honesty with you based on the questions that you will be able to ask based on that conversation. Now you guys understand each other. Now, okay, how do we move forward? There's too much do you want to. That's a yes or no question. What about how can you? How can you fix this problem? That's a question to make them think about, is this you really want to do? Now you could have a better conversation or better discussion. Is it realistic or not? How can you? Ah, I don't want to play anymore. All right. Okay. They don't want to play. Now they go do something that that it's an alternative thing that could be detrimental to their life because you didn't stop to ask the question. You just, okay, that's what they want to do. Sometimes a kid will be begging for you to ask them because they're dealing with so much things that they don't understand and then you just give them a free pass. You say, okay, you don't want to do it. Oh, just let's move out of it. And you're like, all right, that's what they want to do. Don't don't really understand in that what you're not really you're not really understanding that this child is struggling with pressure of doing what they're doing and Instead of you ask the right questions to bring them back to where they need to be, you say, okay, that's what you want to do because it's just soccer. And then they take up video games and then you can't get them outside to do an exercise. Now they're obese. Now they're sick. Now they're struggling with all kinds of things. Yeah, you have to listen to them, but also you have to be able to ask the questions. And even though they don't want to play anymore, you must be satisfied 
as the parent that you're making a decision because you you are clear because I am collaborating with you to make sure you understand that you are clear because I am responsible for your future. Oh, this is what you want to do. This is what you choose. Go do it. The child like, okay, well, you're in agreement with me too. I str I'm struggling with all kinds of, with all manner of mental things going on with me that I cannot answer none of these questions and you're not even asking. So why not? Let me find an alternative method. Don't cop out. Don't make it that easy. Don't, don't put the responsibility on that young child just because they say, oh, I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to do it anymore can't pressure them to do it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying pressure them and you're going to go on the field and you're going, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying find a way to ask the right questions so that you, you understand that your child not making a decision because they're struggling with themselves. That they're struggling with things that they don't understand. They're struggling with things because they open to social media and television and all these things that that alternating their thoughts and their feelings and all these things. And, and you're, not, you're not asking the question, allowing them to walk right into something that they will struggle with because they're doing it as a get out of jail card, get out of jail free card. Ask the right questions. Then answer the tough ones. You have to want, the, you have to want that, that uncomfortable conversation. But it's honesty. And that honesty brings freedom. It brings clarity. It brings connection. It, it brings the right collaboration. And it's, and it's genuine. It's genuine. I've known people who pray on their child to leave programs because they were uncomfortable with the truth. And I can, I can assure you that they didn't know what their child was suffering and struggling with. Purpose will always seem unimportant to other people. Even though it's important to you. Because only you know what is really doing for you every day you wake up. No one really, no one can know. Unless, it, unless it's being revealed to them. They can't look at you and define what purpose is in your life. They can't. No one could sit next to you and tell you what your purpose is in life. They cannot. They cannot take that from me. No, not a single soul on the face of this earth can tell you what your purpose is unless it's revealed by the original creator of the gift that is sitting in front of you. So they can make all assumptions. They can crucify you. They can put you to shame. But do they know that all of that is bringing you closer, closer to where your purpose, to your purpose? Oh, they threw Joseph in the dungeon. They said, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill our own brother. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> imagine that they were willing to sacrifice their own your family will do it to you too they are willing to sacrifice they are willing to see you suffer just because they are not in agreement but what happened that was all part of the purpose right because you had to turn around and feed them. You had to turn around and do good for them. 
because they didn't understand his purpose. They didn't. They saw him as an opposition. They saw him as everything else. But he stuck to his guns. He stuck to his purpose. He stuck to what he knew to be true. It's very important. We have to find it, finally. Capture significant moments. Capture significant moments on the journey. You can always go back to something to reignite whatever, wherever the fire and the fire is going out. You can always go back to something that will remind, that will give the sense of belief again. Life happens. Life is hard. Life is difficult. That's why quality, quality people around you is important. People who actually know you. People actually who know your heart. People who know what you stand for. It's very important to have those people around you. It's no better time than now. Oh, my Learn that the hard way. Because in your roughest of moments, those people know. They want to know. They want to bring you back to what got you to the point where you used to be. They call you a failure. <laughs> they will say you're not good enough. But if you ask them to remind me of what I used to be, who I used to be, they can't go there. They're stuck where they are. Capture, parents, capture important moments of your child's life. Significant moments of your child's life. So that when they're going through the toughness, the roughness of life, when they're going through moments where their, their gifts will be challenged, their, their worth will be challenged, their self-image will be challenged, their awareness of themselves, will be, their identity will be challenged. You have to be able to paint that picture that you remember who this person was and make them believe again. It's important. <laughs> there will always be confusion. I said to a good friend of mine today, I'm trying to remember my quote, but I had the revelation of this quote that The worst thing, yes, the worst thing challenge the best of you. The worst things in life will challenge the best of you, not the worst in you. So if you have a desire and a passion to do something, if you have a heart, to be honest, if you have a desire to be meek, to be kind, to be supportive. This world will challenge it with the worst things. And sometimes with the lack of support, you fall victim. I submit to you, it's still the best in you. Because if it was the worst thing about you, it would have never been challenged. The only the best thing in you is challenged by the worst things in life. Stay blessed. Be encouraged. Parents, God's blessing, God's love, that you will reconnect with your child. You will collaborate with your child. You will support them in the press towards maturity and being fully conformed and completing their purpose. And they will find patience. They will find strength. They will find their belief. They will find all the things that is necessary. They will control their mouth.
they will stay positive under pressure. Have a good night. Looking forward to see you again at our next podcast next Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today.